Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello and welcome to module 409 in our financial forecasting in Excel course. In this module, we will discuss how to forecast intangible assets. Let's start the discussion in our Excel file. On the balance sheet, ABC has reported two types of intangible assets. We have goodwill and other intangible assets. Goodwill is a miscellaneous category for intangible assets that are harder to parse out individually or measure directly. Customer royalty, brand reputation, and other non-quantifiable assets count as goodwill. A company's record of innovation and research and development, along with the experience of its management team, are often included here. Goodwill cannot exist independently of the business, nor can it be sold, purchased, or transferred separately. As a result, goodwill has a useful life that is indefinite, unlike most of the other intangible assets. As we can see here, ABC did not have any goodwill after 2017. Even when there was goodwill, it was quite immaterial. For these reasons, we will assume zero goodwill for the future years. Intangible assets are those that are non-physical but identifiable. Think of a company's proprietary technology, copyrights, patents, licensing agreements, and website domain names. These aren't things that one can touch exactly, but it is possible to estimate their value to the enterprise. Intangible assets can be bought and sold independently of the business itself. Intangible assets are amortized, which means a fixed amount is marked down every year, resulting in a simultaneous charge against earnings. The amortization amount is adjusted if the asset's value is impaired at some point after its acquisition or development. Let's have a quick look at the cash flow statement. Depreciation and amortization expense are also reported on the cash flow statement under operating activities. Now that we understand what goodwill and intangibles are, let's move to our intangibles tab to start our forecasting. In principle, we need to calculate the addition to intangibles, amortization expense, and the ending net intangibles in this tab. Let's start off by linking the net sales from the income statement. To discuss how to forecast the additions to intangibles and amortization expense, we need to read the notes that ABC has provided as part of their financial statements. In this note, we have the breakdown of intangible assets by year, along with the gross carrying amounts, and the accumulated amortization amounts. The carrying amounts are also known as the carrying values and they represent the cost of assets less the accumulated amortization. Amortization, on the other hand, is the practice of spreading an intangible assets cost over the assets useful life. It is similar to depreciation expense for tangible assets. Additionally, ABC has provided us with some other footnotes as well. The addition to intangibles were 920 million in fiscal year 2016. Our amortization expense related to intangible assets was 144 million, 202 million, and 247 million in 2020, 19, and 2018, respectively. Amortization expense related to intangible assets is estimated to be approximately 160 million in each of the next five years. Let's use this information and fill in the table above. The 2016 addition to intangibles is provided by ABC as 920 million. From 2017 to 2020, the addition to intangibles refer to the amount of intangibles ABC has invested in per year. For 2017, it's the gross carrying amount. That's the 2016 gross carrying amount. Similarly, for 2018, 
It's the 2018 gross carrying amount minus the 2017 gross carrying amount. We will follow the same approach for 2019 and 2020 using the in-year gross carrying amount and subtracting the prior year's gross carrying amount. Now that we have the historical additions to intangibles, we can calculate the additions to intangibles as a percentage of net sales. The average is around 0.4% and we can apply this average to the future years. The addition to intangibles for the future years is the percentage we have just applied times the net sales. The ending net intangibles amount can be taken from the balance sheet. This 2020 ending net intangible amount is the beginning net intangible amount for 2021. We have already calculated the addition to the intangibles amount which can be added directly to this table. For the amortization expense, we take ABC's estimate of 160 million for the next five years, which they have mentioned in the footnote over here. We can now calculate the ending net intangible amount for 2021 by adding these three figures. This becomes the beginning net intangible amount for 2022. We can now calculate the ending net intangible amount for 2022. And we follow the same approach for the other three years as well. With that, we have forecasted the ending net intangibles from 2021 through 2025. For the sake of completeness, I've also added goodwill over here. But as we discussed previously, goodwill will be zero for the future years. That wraps up the current module. In this module, we discussed intangible assets and forecasted ending net intangibles. Join me in the next module as we continue to forecast ABC's finances. Goodbye. This video is part of our full course on financial forecasting and modeling. To take a look at the course, click over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And to see similar videos, click over there.